Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. I wanted to do this one because I went through a season of being completely and utterly depressed and anxious. It literally felt like there was some kind of cloud over my head that just would not go away and I couldn't feel joy, I couldn't feel anything. It got really bad and in the end I made some changes and took some steps, changed my circumstances to get rid of the cloud and somehow it worked. So. I don't know if this is temporary, maybe the cloud will come back, I'm praying that it doesn't, but I just wanted to share uh, with you what I did uh, to see if you guys could try it if you're struggling as well. It's very cold in the house, which is why I'm wearing thermals and my fluffy hat, so please excuse that. I've got to save that money. Basically, this is the steps I took to get over the depression. I'm not saying that this is going to work for everyone because everybody's depression is different. A huge part of that uh, has been social media. I think not even consciously but just subconsciously social media has effect on all of us. You might be someone uh, that thinks you don't really have a problem with it. I didn't think I particularly had a problem with it but I just had this urge to just get rid of it um, and so one day I just got my phone and just deleted the apps. I didn't want to get rid of Facebook um, or Instagram completely because at the end of the day there's so many memories all my photos for like my whole existence on this planet is like on those platforms and it just felt like it'd be really sad to lose that so I just turned off the app so that I can't go on them. I thought at first it would be really hard and like even just pressing the delete button I was a bit hesitant but once you do it like first day I was like I just feel so relieved and it hasn't changed that feeling hasn't changed and it's been nearly a month now I just have no urgency to turn it on again and I'm not saying I never will I'm not saying that everybody should just cancel all their apps and just never use them again. For right now this is right for me and I would highly encourage you to do the same just as a test to see if that helps uh, anything change in your mindset or your daily patterns. I know I have been in a trap before of like caring about likes and comments um, and even just before I deleted the apps uh, I was doing a photo shoot ready to put on Instagram. Although I'm pr I might use the pictures, I probably won't, even though that's the case, it still wasn't a waste of time to do a fun photo shoot and I would encourage you to still do that with your friends or with your partner. We went on a really lovely walk to a nice location, it's something that we wouldn't have, like if we weren't doing that we'd just be at home doing nothing. So it was really fun. Uh, that's probably why I've used one of the pictures as my thumbnail, just so that I can put to good use uh, a picture that took my partner quite a long time to edit. That's the other thing about the pictures you do see, they're all edited. Even the Kardashians that have spent thousands of pounds on uh, procedures, uh, lip fillers, plastic surgery, whenever they're doing an Instagram story, they all still have this filter, like the, the Instagram filters, the Snapchat filters, they still have them on because they still, after all that, are not comfortable showing their real selves. And I totally get it, like if I'm, if I'm posting something and I notice like one little wrinkle, I'm like, it's not, it's not going on. It like only perfection. <laughs> so even after turning off social media, uh, I also gave up drinking because I found I would, I'm an overthinker, I don't know if you are, but to turn off my overthinking uh, of an evening, I felt like I need to have a glass of wine or two. I would probably have more if my partner didn't say anything about it. <laughs> um, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, I, I stopped drinking completely, which is a huge thing for me. And again, with the social media, I noticed the same thing. The longer you do it, the less you want it. Uh, but even after distracting myself, not drinking, uh, eating a bit more healthy, it still just wasn't quite getting me where I needed to be mentally. So then I should not have left this. This should have been the first thing I did. And I did talk to God a lot about it, but I ended up going, reaching for the Bible, uh, and just finding passages in the Bible to affirm myself, to answer the questions of like why, why do we need to go to Instagram, why do we have this need to be seen when it really, like what man thinks doesn't matter and I did find uh, a part in the Bible that says kind of God's opinion on it, uh, which I'll insert here, but basically he's saying like the way he looks at us, it's not like uh, man looks at us, man looks like, looks on the surface 
God looks on the inside. He doesn't care about, you know, who's got the longest eyelashes, who's got perfect hair. He's not looking at any of that. He's looking at what's going on in our hearts. And I found when going to God, uh, reading his word, being completely honest with him, even if that means, you know, I'm angry about this, I'm angry that you didn't step in sooner with my depression, like how has it got to this stage? You can be completely open and honest with God, but one of the main things that I found really helped, obviously God loves his visual metaphors. He tells us uh, to drink the bread and the wine, to remember his sacrifice for us. It's really important to him. And I, I found this thing in the Bible that's called putting on the armor of God and the helmet is the one that I focus on specifically because it's called the helmet of salvation. Basically, when you put that on, it's like a visual metaphor that you are you are coming under the authority of God and you are protecting yourself from the enemy uh, and his plans to destroy you or to hurt you or to, to help you to destroy yourself. And even though it's a metaphor, I found it completely changed my whole day. For the first time in ages, I started to feel joy and purpose and I actually wanted to be here on the planet for the first time in ages. <laughs> Uh, I decided, it's called a helmet of salvation because it's like the armour that you'd put on when you're going to war, but I decided instead of having a helmet I was going to have a tiara because it just suits my aesthetics better, so every morning now I will put on my tiara of salvation and sometimes I forget to do it at home and I have to do it at work and I'm literally looking around at like my colleagues and what they're doing and when they're not looking I'm like <laughs> and then yeah just say a little prayer, acknowledge God in your day. Uh, I just don't know where I would be if it wasn't for him. So a combination of deleting my social media, eating well, sleeping well, not drinking, turning to God, is what has got me out of a rut that was like horrifically bad. I wouldn't wish it upon my worst enemy. So I really hope that something in there helps you and that you're able to get rid of the cloud that is over your head. There is medication for depression and anxiety. I have some in the kitchen ready to go. Uh, I do believe that God invented the amazing minds that created these medications to help us so I'm not like against using medication. Uh, so if you need to do what you've got to do it just so happens that this time I didn't have to take them. But even knowing that they're there makes me feel better so I'm glad that I went to the pharmacy. I called my doctor. I got it all organized and it's there if this cloud comes back and I feel like I need to take it and there's no shame in that at all. I hope this video helped you and you found it somewhat entertaining I'm trying to make light a bit the the subject of depression and anxiety because so many of us have it. We live in a crazy world but God is good he's with us and we need to look after our minds and our bodies. Please feel free to comment below if you have any questions or if you want to express how you've been feeling. If you like what you see, subscribe. I'm just trying to be completely honest and vulnerable on this channel, I'm trying to make it less about, you know, having fake eyelashes and my fake tan, which I'd normally do. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but for me there is. So I'm trying to cut that out, just be me, just be honest, and hopefully it helps someone. Thanks so much for watching and hopefully see you in the next video. Bye.